Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about two CGA to SCART converters. One I've built myself and the other one I bought off the internet from a guy called Pyrofer. I will show you the difference and uh, point you in the direction where to get and how to make one yourself. I've started here uh, Paku Paku because uh, that's one of the few games with 16 colors and I think all of them are used here uh, but the important two colors we'll talk a lot about today is the yellow and the brown. Uh, the cheap CG, CGA to SCART converters you make yourself uh, doesn't display uh, the brown color as you can see here that's the brown color on the cheaper one I will show you afterwards that brown will actually be dark yellow the reason for this is that um, the CGA actually shows the light yellow and the dark yellow but the CGA monitors convert the dark yellow to brown I guess they just decided that you have more used for brown in, co in, in computer games and stuff then you need a dark yellow, I don't know. But the thing is that when you convert the CGA signal to SCART, uh, the TV does not do anything with the dark yellow color. So you actually need an adapter to do that for you. The adapter I'm using, um, I bought from, as I mentioned, Pyrofer. You can see it here, it's a very neat adapter. On the input side, on the left side in the frame here now, is the CGA cable. And the output cable is a VGA cable. Uh, you can connect that to a VGA monitor that supports 15 kilohertz, or you can do like I did here, just connect it to the SCART input on the TV. Um, you also need power. Um, the converter itself needs uh, 5 volt, so I just use a transformer here. And um, I guess it needs the power to, uh, to run the chip. Uh, but this cable actually also needs power. Uh, the VGA to SCART cable needs power because the TV with SCART input needs a 5 volt signal just to turn on the RGB input signals on the SCART port without the 5 volt uh, on pin 16 the monitor expects uh, a different video signal than the RGB signals so the cable the the power here is actually just to power pin 16 to tell the screen to expect a RGB signal I've been talking to the author of this converter and he said that he actually supply 5 volt on pin 9 on the output side uh, but I'm not sure if uh, this cable well, this cable doesn't but some cables might uh, route pin 9 to pin 16 on the SCART cable in that case you don't need an extra power supply uh, to power the SCART input okay as you can see it works fine I'm just going to show you couple of other games, so I'm exiting this. Ah. And we're back with the load runner, just to show you how that looks. Um, this game I'm showing just to show that it does not use the palette that contains dark yellow or brown. Um, as you might know, CGA only has like two official palettes, but it has at least a third, maybe even more unofficials. Um, I reckon this palette with the <laughs> ugly colors is the most used palette. And um, I will show you a game that uses the second palette. And we are back with the Defender of the Crown. Ugly music. Luckily, I can turn down the volume. On the video it might look a bit different, but on the screen, um, the color in the middle with, that covers the most of the area is brown. And the next video will probably show you that this brown color is not brown anymore. Uh, this is one of the few games 
I've seen that actually uses this color palette. Okay, I'll be back with the next adapter. Before I show you games with the other adapter, I'm just going to show you the adapter. The, this is the drawing. I found it on uh, the internet. I think it's the first thing you see if you Google CGA to SCART. Uh, on the SCART end, it's nothing particular. Just connect, as it says on the drawing. Um, these are the electronics. I've just put some tape over it so I don't destroy it. Fairly easy to find and very cheap to buy. And you need uh, a 5 watt volt input. As I mentioned, the 5 watt is going to pin 16 just so the TV will look for a RGB signal on the SCART connector. And I'm back. We have now connected uh, the homemade uh, CGA to SCART. Um, same game, Paku Paku. Um, as you can see, most colors are exactly the same. At least I don't see much difference. But if we zoom in on the yellow and the, the brown that earlier was brown at least, now, as you can see, it's just dark yellow. Not much difference on this game. And uh, maybe not on most. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and now I'm showing you load runner again on the homemade uh, SCART cable. In my opinion, it looks exactly the same. And in a few seconds, Defender of the Crown. And here you see a difference. Here you can see the colors have changed. And uh, this page, I'm hoping it gets on the video, it shows on the video. Uh, this is more, much more yellow. On the previous cable, it was browned, but now it's more yellow. So that's actually the difference um, between the homemade and the one you can uh, buy of uh, Pyrofer. Um, yeah, I hope uh, you learned something from the video. I hope you buy one or you make one yourself and then you can uh, connect your uh, old DOS machines uh, to modern TVs. Of course, this can uh, this adapter, both adapters can also be used on the Commodore 128. Actually, when uh, Pyrofer made his adapter, I think he planned to use it for a uh, a Commodore 128. They both use uh, something called RGBI um, for displaying uh, the graphics. Okay, thank you for watch watching. Have a nice day.